will introduce to you uh, my digital clock so first of all I want to introduce to you uh, how can we control uh, basically we have as an output LCD and buzzer to uh, notification sound notification and as an input I have I'm using five push buttons and also I'm using uh, five keys on the on the keyboard to control the digital clock by serial port so now uh, so now it is on the low power mode because I set it um, after if you don't press any key button uh, in I don't I don't remember maybe two minutes or one minute so it will go low power it means uh, the display will be will be uh, shut down so if I press any button it will be go back to normal screen so in this screen I will set the uh, time no time is setting is, mm, we can set time is okay now so I want to set uh, just 11.59 to alarm first I need to alarm on yeah as you see alarm symbols on the screen on the main screen so I will set the alarm time yeah if you press the enter it means save the value to to current alarm time yeah 10 seconds later we will see the alarm hopefully it is there yeah if you press the no button it means snooze cancel so I need to set the alarm again uh, set alarm to 12 yeah so probably half a minute later we will see uh, I will show the the sound is a little bit annoying and I already implement some different songs which one of them is from Beethoven uh, five fifth symphony of the, of him anyway uh, if I say sinus activation yes so as you see here sinus is active so one minute later we will see uh, another another alarm so at the same time during this time I will show you another facilities manufacturer is just my name and my website uh, is dot c o m com but um, there is not enough space unfortunately and timer is there is a timer facility I will show you after snoozing stopwatch facility alarm on off as I said set snooze it is default is one minute you can change it here and uh, yeah it's uh, snooze active if I said no so it means Sinus is not active after that time, but alarm still is there because I, uh, alarm is on. If I if I do it alarm off from here, you will see there is not alarm symbol. So I will sh finally I will show you. Uh, I will show you. Uh, at this time I will show it from the these push buttons but it is a little bit annoying because of the bouncer my debouncer is not quite nice uh, so timer yeah here we are so if I press the timer if I press the start it will not start because it's zero zero value so I need to change the value if I click the right uh, yeah nine seconds yeah 
yeah I think I can do it very well from uh, serial port it is better oh sorry yeah if I press the start uh, I think time is also too short I can do it one minute because it's not real time because uh, for testing I did it a little bit um, fast so it's one minute to start if I press again enter it will stop uh, paused and after if you s press uh, resume it will go back and uh, if you press reset it will it will be cleared and uh, at the end of the timer also you will see there is a uh, notification finally I will show you stopwatch it's very simple if you compare with timer uh, it's the same as timer reset button and uh, if you press start yeah not my debouncer is not working very well and if I press again oh sorry yeah it's there yeah so uh, I think that's and that, uh, finally I sh forgot to say you can also change the uh, hour mode which is now to 24 hour mode but you can change it uh, 12 hour mode as well I, I, I'm not changing it now this is the project it's, uh, it was the final it's the, it is uh, one of the one of the lectures uh, final project but I will improve it a little bit uh finally finally i will show you uh some songs which i implemented uh if i press p uh so you will see on the screen Some alternatives are there: Beethoven Fifth Symphony, Beethoven uh, another one, Mozart, two of two uh, songs from Mozart and Bach. So I will choose Beethoven Fifth Symphony, which is one. Low, low power because uh, we didn't press any push button if you press again because the normal mode and I will pray I will choose Beto or maybe Bach which is fifth one If you have any question, please contact me over uh, over my website.